Hi YouTube. So, long time no video. My life has gotten hectically, insanely, crazy, 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 crazy. So, um, I've got just a few things to show you guys and that I've made. And also a small haul. So I'll do the haul first. So I went to Joann's. And um, when they were having their buy one, get one free for the clay, which is a really, really good deal. So I'm just going to dump all this stuff out so I can get to it. So first I'm going to start with the Sculpey colors that I got. And I'll work my way into the other ones. So let's see. I got the... Silver, and I'm using a new lighting box, light box, that my boyfriend got for me. So it's kind of hit or miss. I don't know. And then also my phone's camera has been really, really wonky. And then I got this color, which is uh, light blue pearl. Sorry, I'm going to try to make this work <laughs> properly. Yeah. And then I got Spring Lilac, and I don't know why this stupid thing isn't focusing. There we go. And then I got the um, Princess Pearl. And then I got some Primo colors. And um, I got more of the Gray Granite because I ran, well, I'm almost out. I'm not out completely, but. You know how it is. And then I got the silver in the Primo because so far Primo is my favorite brand or type of clay. I know it's by Sculpey, but like the Sculpey 3s I find are too soft. But anyways, and I got the blue glitter in the Primo. You would think that with a light box it would be better lighting, but it's not. I'm still trying to figure out how to work the stupid thing. And then I got this one, which is a magenta pearl. And then I got more just pearl because I go through that one. And I got this one, which is really pretty. It's graphite pearl. Maybe if I move this back and like angle the lights. See guys, I'm I'm confused by this light box. And then I got four colors of Fimo. So I've tried Fimo before, and I just, I have bad wrists, and I find that's really hard, but I figured I'd give it another shot. So I got Marble, which looks like that. It look I think, I'm really excited about that one, and then this one, which is um, Granite. Basil! Get away from things. And then I got this one, which is metallic gold. And the last block of clay that I got was this one, which was copper. Obviously, I haven't used any of them. So, and then I started making earrings for one of my friends because I've discovered um, that they have plastic posts as well as plastic ear wire so um she has extreme metal allergies and like i don't know why this lighting is so bloody horrendous it's a light box it's supposed to be not crap oh it's frustrating because they don't like send directions or anything with it so maybe yeah it's pretty much as good as it's gonna get Basil, can you? Maybe if I turn on other lights. Sorry, guys. Bear with me for a minuta. <sighs> Probably not going to be good still. Yeah, it's still crap lighting. I, I don't know why. Because the light box is supposed to make the lighting better, but it's just... It's frustrating. This is crap light. Anyways, so I made these that you can't see because my lighting is crap because the light box is crap. And I made these little earrings. They're just like super wedding-ish. 
Got a pearl on the bottom. That's how that's what they look like. Sorry, I've got to take all of them out of their plastic baggies. And then I made these, which are fun. And they've got pearls and shells, and in every shell it's got a little, like, metal shell um, charm. And some, use some crystals and some metal beads and stuff. But I thought that those are pretty. I haven't sent her a, um, an email with photos in them yet to see if she wants any of these, so they may or may not be available at some point, depending on if she likes them. And I made these, which I think are just darling. They're just little butterfly metal charms, and they've got the peridot chips, like that. I thought about having like a dangle in the middle, but then decided not to. I don't know why. Sorry for the disorganization. My brain is super scattered. I've been in the ER twice in the last three weeks, so <sighs> lots of medical issues going on here. And then I made these. And one more pair of earrings, and then I've got some resin stuff to show you guys. And then these, which are super simple, just little dangles. With um, the Swarovski crystals, so lots of bling. Mm. Yeah, now my phone's not gonna focus because my phone's crap too. I promise you guys, I'm not always negative. I'm just uh, frustrated at this particular moment. Okay, and so I had you know regular le leftover resin. I just poured it and then forgot that I had poured it. And then I was just t testing out this mold, which is really pretty, but it gets a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of bubbles in it, um, and I over poured. But this, this is just a test piece, and it came out cloudy. So, just a little test piece, and then I'm making uh, a matching set of little rose uh, glow in the dark rose studs for that same friend that has a metal allergy, so I made small ones, and then I'm going to make some big ones so that she can have two different sizes, and I'll add leftover white resin, um, I used the 10 minute resin, and this has a couple of bubbles in it, but you know, it was leftover resin, eh? no big deal, and then, I can't even get this stuff out with my nails. My nails have been getting so long. I mean, for me, this is like ridiculously long. The nail polish is awful right now because I'm doing a play and I'm not going to reapply. Anyways, leftover resin, heart, see-through, blue. Another one, but this one's bigger. A little bubbly. I'm starting to make these, so I don't know if anybody plays RPGs, but mana, health, and I'm going to put little labels on them and make them into little earrings. Uh, I've got another pair that I don't know where it went, but it's already in earring form, but I haven't put the label on it yet because I had to figure out how to make labels. Never made them before. And a lot of these aren't finished, so leftover resin. There's this one. Just have to dome it. These are all ones that I have to dome and finish. There's this one. And Donald Duck. Ah. This one got a bunch of like glitter in it that it was not supposed to. So I'm probably just going to make a magnet for my dad. We shall see. Leftover resin and glitter. Cute little puppies that say love. And there's this. Oh, I might have just figured out the light box. <laughs> oh, gosh, guys. I am so inept sometimes. 
So there's this one. This one I'm bugged about because I don't know if you guys can see, but right here the sticker lifted out of the resin. And I poked it down like three times and yeah, nothing. And it's, I mean, it's cute, but I don't like that the sticker's poking up. Oops, upside down. There's this plain little butterfly one. This one I think I'm going to add gems to. Back it in white. This one. I really just need to dome these all. Oops. Sorry, my nails are super long, guys. There's this one, and it sucks because, like, two of the little glitter things got in the front here. Which, oh, and another one down here. I don't know how that happened. Ay -ay -ay. And there's a mini. And this one, I just need to dome, and also it's got, like, glitter stuck to the front, but I can peel it off with my nail, so. This one I think is cute. And then I made a set, I think these are going to be a set of magnets, little Halloween magnets. There's this one. Oh, and this has, um, I think it was black, green, and orange in the back, and then glow in the dark all the way around the sides. So I need to go get polycrylic to uh, glaze them. This one's got purple and orange, and then the glow in the dark around the corners. I think this one's cute, too. And there's this little guy, creepy. I think he's cute. And then this guy. And that looks like it's about it. Oh, no, sorry. I knew I had something else. So then I made this, and it's like a little coaster. And it's with the uh, Martha Stewart black licorice. So it's got that, like, greeny iridescence to it. And I think I'm going to add some stuff in here. I don't know what I'm going to add. But when I domed it, um, it domed unevenly, which sucks. So it's like nice and smooth here and all jacked on this side. So I have to redome it. But it's going to be a little coaster. I mean, it's pretty big. It's pretty substantial. But I think it's cute. It's got a little ghost dude in his haunted house. I love these stickers. I think they're so freaking cute. And... Um, but, that is it, guys. That's all I've got. Sorry, again, that I've been so MIA. Um, I've been working, like I said, a lot. I work two jobs, and I've been, I've gone up to about 15 hours a day, 12 to 15 hours a day, depending on the day. And that's working six days a week, so Sundays are really my day to just ignore the world, ignore the fact that anybody exists. <laughs> And uh, I haven't been doing much crafting because I've been really struggling with uh, my depression and everything because I'm working so much and I'm not really getting where I want to go. But that's okay. That's neither here nor there. I'm not here to complain or anything. So, that's it. Hopefully I will be able to craft a little bit more. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye.